What's up? Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day like I am, because it is Monday, and I'm coming to you live from my quarantine headquarters here in Georgetown, Kentucky. So I'm excited to be with you guys today. This is class number two. Uh, today our goal is to be able to run through the different parts of the guitar and review the names of the strings. So I'm excited you guys are here to join with me. I've already had some people mes message me. I um, apologize, I'm bad about names, but a gentleman from Arizona, he's excited. He hadn't played in many years, and he talked about his hands being arthritic. And, you know, hey, this is good exercise for it. So um, I'm excited for all the the response that we got from this do do want to take a moment and remind you guys that i'm doing this for free i normally charge a hundred dollars to a class for eight weeks for you know 50 minutes so i'm giving you guys a real good basic understanding of beginner guitar so if you have the opportunity um, to bless me through and my bless my family you can do it through paypal or through venmo uh, my idea is james Dean rock still waiting for Unemployment and all that stuff is, I'm just not going to hold my breath. It is what it is. And also, if you want, there's a different way you can help support. Um, I do have these cool shirts out today. Today is Monday, if you're watching this delayed. Today is the last day to order these t-shirts. Uh, part of the proceeds go to support myself. Um, why not get a cool gray James Dean Rocks? This is good, high-quality, um, soft t-shirt, not... Not those stiff, thick, terrible ones. So go ahead and take the opportunity to do that. Um, I will place a link down below. So if you'd like to um, get in on that, um, you can go right through here and order also. I am excited. Uh, as I was telling you, we had a gentleman who watched this the other day from Arizona. And I'm going to, I should have looked his name up. I apologize. I didn't do that er earlier. But you guys are more welcome. I'd love for you right now to comment below. Where are you watching this from? Here, I'm looked him up just now. Looks like his name is Can't. I'm, I'm gonna mess this up. Can't pug not. Oh my gosh! I just see it says Frank on there. Frank, I missed your name up. If you're watching this from Arizona, I appreciate you. Um, uh, watching in. So, uh, anybody else comment below? Let me know where you're walk watching from. So we have Arizona. Do we have anybody from Kentucky where I am located here in Georgetown, Kentucky, just a little bit east of Frankfurt, the capital. Let me know. All right. As I said, our goals today is we're going to work on, uh, the different parts of the guitar. Uh, by the end of the week, I'd love to start getting into potentially some chords, but we have a lot of things that we need to take out, take advantage of before we do that. So, the other day we talked about this. Um, oh, we got a ooh! Look at this. We got Blue Creek, Ohio. What's up, Blue Creek, Ohio? We got Cynthiana, Kentucky. Leanna, I, it's your nine-year-old son, J.R. Cole. Well, you should learn too. It's it's a fun instrument. Blue Creek, Ohio. So we've got we've got Ohio, Kentucky, and uh, Arizona covered. So that's cool. All right. So here is what we we sent this the other day. Did you guys get the opportunity to memorize the names of the strings? So here we go. Remember, you got the fat fat string, fat string, which I relate because. I'm a little chunky myself. So you got this string here, and then we have the high E right there. So we got E, A, D, G, B, E. A lot of times I tell my students, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. You also want to um, look at the names and the numbers. So this is 6E. We have 5A, 4D, 3G, 2B, 1E. That's very, very important because here, as we continue on, I'll be like, if you go to G string, never break your G string, though, by the way. But anyway, if I tell you to go to the G string, you'll need to know what string that is. All right. 
Very, very important. So make sure you have that down because our goal is tomorrow or Wednesday we're going to work on tuning. And tuning is very difficult if you don't know these things. So elephants and donkeys grow big ears. 6E, 5A, 4D, 3G, 2B, 1E. So make sure that you guys are staying up on that. Um, once in a while, you'll see me jump over here to see if we have any comments. Sometimes the comments are weird. There's a weird delay, some freaky stuff like that. So with all that said, all right, we're going to talk about the parts of the guitar. Now, some of you guys might have an electric guitar. Some of you might have an acoustic guitar. Generally, they're all pretty much similar. What we're going to talk about, there will be some differences with electric guitar, and we'll talk about the electric guitar tomorrow. Today we're going to assume everyone's got an acoustic guitar and you're old like me and like like this. But we do have electric guitars out there that I'll bring, um, bring up to show you tomorrow. So then we're going to talk about the different parts of the guitar. Um, the um, first part we're going to look at is you've got to treat this like a human body. Right, so we're going to see that we have this big part is the big part of this is called the body, the body. All right. So when I talk and refer to the body of the guitar, making sure you hold the body. Now bodies come in all different sizes. There is little ones. Watch, I got one right here. So you have. This one right here, it's a little bit smaller, right? You also have some that are thinner, thicker. Some of them have, I mean, it's just a plethora. I know I used a big word. A plethora of different bodies, all right? So you have your body. This part right here is called the neck of your guitar. And then the head stock, but we'll just call it the head. All right, so you have a body, neck, and head. The other things that you want to be familiar with is this part right here in the middle. What is that? Comment below if you can tell me what is this weird looking thing right here. It says in the picture so you can cheat. More than welcome you can cheat. You can even do weird stuff like this. Oh, If you had wrote down sound hole you are right. This is what allows the sound to move out of the guitar. I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. So it allows you to project the sound. So when you play, the sound is all bouncing out inside of here acoustically and then coming out the sound hole. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Good job. Look like Jennifer and looks like JR. I'll have to remember that's JR on there. But you guys got it right. That is the sound. That is what gives it the sound. All right. We also have the important things we want to know. And a little bit important is this little piece right here in the back. Usually made out of wood. Does anybody know what that is by looking at that? You got to think of about a horse. It's a saddle. Any of you guys have horses out there, then you know what I'm talking about, a saddle. You use a saddle to put on the back of a horse and you sit in it, right? So it helps hold something. So in this case, the saddle helps hold the bridge. You see the bridge right there? And then you have your string pegs. Those are not going to be that important right now. Um, that's not that important right now because you're not, we'll talk about more in detail. What's important is what we're going to talk about next. On the top of the head up here, everyone has a different guitar. Mine is a Tacoma. Tacoma's not made anymore. Um, they went out of business, but they were an American-made, hand-built guitar at one point in time. But I want you to notice these little things on here. Some of you guys might have these. They might be different colors. Okay. These are called tuning keys, or you will hear me refer to them as tuners. But Mr. Dane, you said tuners are those things that you put on the guitar that app, which we'll talk about more in detail a little bit later. Yes, sometimes you'll just hear us say tuning keys, tuning pegs, or tuners. So these are what makes the strings turn. So for example, listen to this. 
If I loosen it, the pitch goes. Sounds like that song. There's a song I know it does that. All right. So when you tighten the tuners, the pitch goes up. Make sure I'm in tune now. So we will be using the tuning pegs the next couple days. Again, these pieces up here, we'll be using those to tune. So you need to make sure you know what that is. Jessica Collins just joined on. Jessica, I need a haircut bad. Look at this. Jessica does my hair. This is like Rona mess right here. All right, so we have our tuning keys. Now, the next part we're going to talk about, we talked about the neck. These little pieces of metal, can anybody tell me what these little pieces of metal are called? If you guessed, if you guessed fretboard, wrong. They're frets. So, the frets are the little pieces of metal. That's what gives us our sound. So, when we play in between the frets, which we're going to go into more detail later, is when you get all these cool... So the frets are metal. That is what allows the, the, to know our different notes. Has anybody ever played a violin or a cello or an upright bass? There is no frets, right? They're fretless. So those guys have to use their ear to be able to hear. Okay, but in the guitar world, we're very blessed to have frets on there. So those are really the most important parts that I want to worry about right now. Though other little things like you're going to see position markers. Some of you guys have these on there and we'll talk later. The little dots, they might be on the front, they might be on the side. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Also, if you notice on mine, I have the screen on mine. Mine is an acoustic electric. So that means that I can plug it in and have a pretty tone. Or I need a tune. Whoops. Knocking that, changing that string earlier caused me to have some issues. Anytime you adjust a string on there, you can get yourself in a little bit of trouble. All right. So here's what I need you to do today. I need you to look at this diagram. You can screenshot this. You can look at it. You can go back and watch this a million times. Remember, these lessons are always saved on James Dean Rocks Music School. Or you can go out to YouTube and watch from YouTube at James Dean Rocks Music School. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, I need you to go subscribe. I've got 41 subscribers now. My goal is to get to 1,000. I'm a wee short. Um, it's a really cool thing. All right, now we need to talk about tuning. You have to have a tuner, okay? So for you to tune, you need to make sure you have different options. So number one option is you can go out to Android or Apple products and download something called Guitar Tuna. Guitar Tuna is great, but the problem you run into is on Guitar Tuna is that you have to have it completely quiet. You've got any noise or if people are talking around you, it's going to pick up them and you're not going to be able to tune. And it'll be very, very frustrating. All right. Also, the other things that you need, you can look at is getting a clip-on tuner. This is a Fender clip-on tuner. It's an FT1. Um, I think there are other models out there right now, but a Fender guitar tuner, I would recommend. Let me tell you why. If you notice on this screen, it has a little letter C on there. You can change it and make it go to a G, which stands for guitar. These are anywhere between $11 to $15. You can order on Amazon and get those, but you need to do it quickly because we really need to start tuning. Well, Mr. Dean, what if I order it and it's not an essential item and for some reason it takes three or four or five days? That's okay because, again, why? These lessons are recorded. Well, I, well, then why would I even watch it? You still want to watch it because you can go back and do it again when we get the tuner in. You're still going to get that knowledge. I think someone posted today, I ain't got my guitar in. That's okay. You can still watch and then go back when you get your guitar and catch up. It's not a problem. We're going to do this every day at 1130. Okay? Some days it might be 1131. I have a ukulele class right before, but you get the idea. 
So Guitar Tuna is located out there under, as you can see, it says Guitar Tuna. You want to download that. When you download it, we will start tomorrow working on tuning, taking our first few steps. It's going to be a slow process. These particular things are slow, so don't fret, no pun intended. A lot of this is difficult. A lot of people give up on guitar because they're like, I just can't do it. Of course you can't do it. You've never done it before. And you haven't practiced yet, right? So it's very, very important that you work through and work through the process that I give you. Follow what I tell you. If I tell you to do something, do it. If I tell you not to do something, don't do it. Follow the process. If you agree to this, comment below and say, Dean, I'm in. If you don't agree to this, then you can stop watching because it, uh, it is a process. And I've done this many years, and I know how it works. So... Let's review. Get your strings. Make sure you got them down. Do you have 6 E, 5 A, 4 D, 3, 2, 1 down? And to know which identify them on the guitar, right? There's the fat string. There's the skinny string. Sometimes I identify as that fat string. Just saying. All right. The other part I need you to look at is having this down. The things that we spoke about today. How, what do they do? Um, the big things I'm worried about is the tuning keys, the frets, and on the body, the neck, and the head. The bridge, the saddle, the fretboard, all those little pick guard, you know. I don't even have a pick guard on my guitar. Look at that. Even the, my little guitar I have, my little Martin guitar. Does not have. If you've got something wrong with your guitar, send me a message and let me look at it and see what I can tell you what you need to do and what you might need to order. I can get you through there. If you have any questions about the tuners, send me a message. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can go out. You can send me an email at dean at jamesdeanrocks.com. There's so many different options to be able to help you. All right. Last but not least. This is very important. The first couple days are going to be very boring. I know Junior's watching and he's like, man, I don't know if I can watch this. It's boring. Very boring. So what you have to do is hang there with me. We're going to do this about 15, 20, 25 minutes every day. It's going to get more intense. And it's going to take you putting effort in. Like Jan just says, she's in. I know Jan's in. Jan's a, is a like what's the word I'm looking for a freak about this when she's in she goes at it hard and heavy okay so junior if you're watching this for the first time if you're watching this today up there in blue creek I think it was if you're watching it and you're like man I don't know if I want to do this hang tight brother because it's a process uh, what is I think I have a I have a I have a picture I always do hear me do this um, I always say this, that it takes, let me find it, I wish you could search, I always say that you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig, oh, I don't have it here, some of this stuff is boring, but guess what, end result, you're going to get some yummy bacon, and it's going to be good stuff I'm going to deliver to you, alright, alright, so here's the deal, Work on the names of the strings, work on the parts of the guitar, and tomorrow we're going to get into tuning. If you have any questions, you can email me at dean at jamesdeanrocks.com, or you can send me a message on Messenger. That's how easy this is. Each day, it'll get a little bit longer. I know this is kind of short today, but that's okay. And don't forget, if you'd like to order a t-shirt, I did post a link down there. Part of the proceeds go to help support me while I, I, don't, while I can't work due to our governor here in Kentucky, Andy says, got to shut it down. So I shut her down. So I'm doing stuff from online. So if you get a chance to do that, or you can tip us through paypal.me forward slash James Brown or Venmo. My ID is James Dean Rocks. Appreciate you guys. We will catch you tomorrow at 1130. <laughs>